Wondering what made the NES just as successful as it was? I mean, it is difficult to even think of competition to the NES in the US, especially if you're not a retro gaming nerd, nor did you have something else growing up. The interesting thing is that the competition to the NES was generally stronger and faster looking at it on paper. The Sega Master System and Atari 7800 both had multiple things going for it, and the same goes for some 8-bit home computers like the Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum, yet the NES outsold everything in its way. Quickly in its lifetime, the Famicom was outpaced by technology, and Nintendo saw developers struggling to fit their games on the system. However, because of an odd way the Famicom and NES stored video memory, it was very well suited for upgrades. And soon after the NES's release, Nintendo began creating extra chips to put into cartridges that could help store memory outside the console. These would be known as either multi-memory controllers or memory management controllers, or MMCs. The NES was very limited in its video memory capabilities, so most of these chips were essentially little tricks to store more tile sets for games. These chips were introduced for the Famicom in early 1986, less than three years after the console's release. They'd be seen in fairly early NES games like Gradius and Arkanoid. Early on, tiles could only be used from one tile set at a time, stored in separate memory banks. But by the time games like Mario 3 came out, they were able to flip through graphics in 2 kilobyte chunks, which meant you would never need to duplicate tiles in different banks, and can thus store even more graphics than with upgrades in games like Gradius. By the end of the NES's lifetime, games like Kirby's Adventure were possible, the ROM of which is 768 kilobytes, 256 of which are just graphics, in comparison to the NES's default being only 40 kilobytes in total. Some other games use these chips for some other interesting tricks, however, so I'll have to talk about those another time and leave you to.